Welcome to the London Symphony Eta Composition Challenge Summer Concert. Throughout the year, you've been busy making new music for London Symphony Eta using our composition challenges. From Gloucester to Tower Hamlets, Cumbria to Enfield, you sent us your musical works and we celebrate them all today. Composition Challenges invites young people, teachers and schools to create new music for London Symphony Eta, inspired by the works and musical ideas of living composers. My name is Fiona, I'm a flautist and part of the London Symphony Eta Academy. I'll be guiding you through the pieces we've selected for performances today and I'm really excited to share your work. We've received hundreds of submissions and we were very impressed with how creative they all were. Take a look at this score. A score is the way a composer shares their musical ideas, like a writer uses words or an artist would use paint. Listen out for how the music sounds. Do you hear the differences in the music where the score changes colour? Um, maybe the shapes in the score get bigger and the music becomes louder. Um, also, perhaps the lines become shorter and more jagged and the rhythm can speed up. See if you can spot the parts that have inspired our musicians. The first piece was composed by Moses in Year 5, Bounds Green Primary, Haringey. Hello, my name is Moses and I was the person who composed Pencil Paradise. Uh, my favourite part of composing Pencil Paradise was definitely making the beats, which is, it was very enjoyable and I was allowed to think of my own ideas. We've just heard our first piece, well done everyone at Bounds Green Primary, Haringey. We loved all of your works and wish we had time to perform each and every one. Let's hear from Simon about what inspired him and his favourite parts of the score. Hello, my name's Simon Harrow. I'm a saxophone player and I'm the principal player of the London Sinfonietta. I really enjoyed this score because it's very organised. It has lots of very clear elements, which makes it very easy to interpret. I think my favourite part with the shapes, with the colours and the squiggly lines, they were very evocative. One of the best things about graphic scores is you can express yourself very freely. There's no rules, nothing's right, nothing's wrong, anything goes. For example, if I wanted to play this piece in a happier mood, I could play it like this. to play it in a sad mood, I could try it this way. And finally, if I wanted to play it in an angry way, I'd do it a bit like this. Sorry about that last note. That was composed by Moses in Year 5 at Bounds Green Primary in Haringey. 
Next, we're moving from Haringey to Barnet. This composition comes from Nicholas at the Annunciation Catholic Junior School. Nicholas sent us a clip to introduce his piece and the inspiration behind it. Hi, I'm Nicholas and I'm nine years old. The title of my artwork is called The Invasion of Ukraine. The fruit inspired me because Ukraine is a rich country and has crops and all sorts of fruit. My artwork, my artwork is kind of messy with everything spread around and even close to each other. Recreating the invasion of Ukraine. Let's listen to London Symphonia a cellist Mira Raja performing Nicholas's piece. Thank you for your composition, Nicholas. We loved it. I wonder what parts of the score influenced cellist Mira the most. Let's find out. Hi, my name's Mira and I'm a cellist and a London Sinfonietta musician. I really loved Nicholas's piece. What inspired me the most about it was the squiggly lines, all different colours, and in amongst that there were a few Ukrainian flags. This really inspired me because contemporary music is all about what's happening in the present day now um, and this is what Nicholas conveyed really well in his graphic score. I did something unusual when I played this piece. I used something called extended technique. Extended technique is when a musician plays their instrument in a way in which they don't usually play it. So for example, you would have noticed when I started Nicholas's piece, I started tapping the body of my instrument of the cello at the side here, just like this. And I also started bowing, not where I usually play here, but down at the bottom of the cello on the tail piece, like this. There are lots of ways you can create different sounds on the cello. One other thing I did when I first started the theme of the piece, I used a technique called tremolo, and that's where you scrub the string with the bow really fast, like this. It creates quite an exciting sound, I think. I also used another technique, which is where you place the bow right on the bridge, and you play. quite a harsh sound. I also did one more thing, which was instead of playing with the horse hair of the bow, I turned it round and I played with the stick and that makes quite a percussive sound. There are other ways in which you can make different sounds on the cello. One is pizzicato, which is plucking, just like this. Don't use my bow. And then there's another way in which I can create a really nasty sound where I play behind the bridge.
Next time you're composing, think about how you want the musician to perform your piece. As the composer, you can give lots of direction and guidance. The next composition comes from Edmonton County School in Enfield and was composed by Group 6 from Class 7C8. They've sent us a recording of them performing their score. Let's hear how they played it. This is Group 6 from Class 7CA of Edmonton County School. From left to right, we've got Brandon, Riley, Isaac and Victoria. What was the best part of composing together as a group? The best part of composing together was that we all get to use our own ideas and create this one piece of work. And as we were doing that, we all shared a friendship that spread throughout. How did you bring everyone's ideas into the final piece? Um, after watching the video, we all sat down as a group with colours and instruments. We were all free to use our ideas on the paper. After we thought of what we wanted to do on the paper, we performed and it came out great. In one word, describe how you feel when you compose and make music. We feel very joyful. <laughs> That was performed by Group 6, Class 7C8 at Edmonton County School in Enfield. Next, let's see how London Symphonietta cellist Mira and saxophonist Simon interpreted the score. That was fantastic. Did you notice how the same score created two different pieces of music? Graphic scores can be interpreted in lots of different ways with varying number of performers and instruments. It can be for a solo musician, trio or a large group of 20. There is no right or wrong. Our fourth composition comes from Alexia in year four at Mary House Primary Enfield. Hello, I'm Alexia Kangalaris and I'm nine years old. My composition piece is called A Journey Through Covid. I chose the colour blue because it's quite a negative colour and Covid was quite a negative experience. I also chose the colour yellow um, because, and orange because it represented happiness when so sometimes I was happy and sometimes I wasn't. And when I thought of the colour blue, I thought of quite a low pitch, quite a gloomy, sound and for the colour green I thought of mid-tone sounds and quite peaceful and yellow and I thought of higher pitched and orange I thought of bright sounds which reminds me of happiness.
parts that particularly inspired me were the blue colours throughout the score. The blue colours really reminded me of the sea and the waves, and that's why I incorporated some breathy sounds to sound like the waves. The notation in the score signifies an E minor chord, and you'll hear that throughout the clip. I also noticed that there was a number eight, um, and this really inspired me to play some notes eight times, or count to eight when I was holding my breath, or hold notes for eight beats. We really enjoyed performing your compositions. Last but not least, we've reached our final piece. This is from Byberry Primary School in Gloucestershire. Hi, I'm Ava, and this is my piece called Weather Day. I think that it shows that the weather can go from peaceful to loud very, very quickly. I thought the violin would go good with the setting of the cool summer breeze. Then it goes to a loud trumpet that can go quite loud, so I thought it would go better with the clouds, rain and lightning. It can also go quite powerful too, so I thought it would be very good with the powerful environment of the lighting, of the lightning and the rain. My inspiration for this was the weather, to show that all weathers are good. Bye! A huge thank you to each composer and every school who sent us compositions. We've loved them all and we really hope you enjoyed creating them. London Symphonia has four composition challenges. Postcard pieces, numbers and patterns, words and music and deep listening. So make sure you have a go at each one. You can find them on our website, londonsymphonietta.org.uk. Happy composing!